without light, nothing exists. It is the way we see the world. And light art, <laughs> that's art that uses light as a medium, is popping up in galleries and at events across the globe. We've got three innovative forms that are shining through the landscape. First are Bruce Monroe's site-specific light installations. What they will see are a collection of lights and they're put together in a particular way. That so that each piece has its own rhythm and its own sort of quality. Monroe has installations around the world and alters the way he displays them based on their surroundings. Next up, bend, fold, and interact with light origami. So what we've done here is we've created a, a geodesic dome, which is much like a 3D kaleidoscope. This is a joint project with Japanese artist Kaz and creative producer Ruben Young. I think what's beautiful about light installations is that there's an ability for us to create in a public space. Uh, an opportunity for people to uh, create the work themselves. The structure is composed of 320 individual mirrored panels that create the origami effect. Uh, people actually create the work as they enter into the space. So what they're wearing and how they move in the space will change uh, the experience of the artwork. And last, if you want to try light art on your own, try light graffiti or light painting. Chances are you've seen photos like these on the internet, and they're not as difficult to pull off as they seem. Here's how. You'll need a steady platform for your camera, like a tripod. Then you've got to have a bright light source. Even your phone could work. And last but not least, it's got to be dark. To create light art, simply use the air as your canvas and your light as the brush. To create spaces, simply cover the light, then uncover it to begin painting again. For more tips and even free apps that create light art, head to our Facebook page. Lighting up creativity, that's what's trending.